Bungie's next great FPS. In Destiny, we've created a fantastic new universe for players to explore, full of mystery and adventure. We've built a persistent online world where players grow and customize their characters. And we focused from the beginning, not just on the great competitive experience that players demand from a shooter, but to make sure that playing Destiny cooperatively with your friends was gonna blow your mind. Destiny is gonna be amazing on PlayStation 4. It's a great piece of gear. And we can't wait to see what PlayStation fans do when they set foot in our world for the first time. of destiny, you're a legend in the making, a guardian of the last safe city on Earth. And today, we've come here, old Russia. And I'm going to meet up with some of my friends, and together, we're going to explore the wild frontier on the other side of that wall. on over. I'm all geared up, ready to go. Well, the plan is, you and me, we're gonna fight through that wall, meet up with Josh on the other side. Sweet, I'll take point. How are we looking? Getting dark. Okay, wait one sec and I will take out my ghost. We always visit such cheerful places. Oh, it looks even better up here. more light to find a way across. Hang tight, I'll find some sticks to rub together. And by sticks, I mean highly complex circuits that I am fully equipped to repair, revive, and otherwise rouse from center.
may have overdone it. You've got trouble. Coming back to you. Fallen shanks. Shoot them. More fallen. You On take right. it from here. Okay. All right, I got him. Pushing up. Hey, we got more of them. Got you covered. Going left. Okay, I'm going right. We got a runner. Okay, I'm on him. I got him. I got him. Yes. More fallen below. I see him. They're pulling back to you. Let's do this. Yes, Darla. Okay, here I go. Let's mop him up. We all good? Oh, we got one more. Hey, don't get too close! No, Darla! Hang tight! Oh, I got him! Whoa! Come on back. Let's grab our loot. The Thunderlord. There are a lot of awesome weapons in Destiny. Thunderlord is one of the best. Exotic heavy machine gun. It's got a sweet talent tree. The one up top, rolling thunder. Explosive rounds. When I get that one, this gun's gonna be a beast. But it's pretty good right out of the gate. Check it out. Yes, feels good. Let's see how it sounds. Plug your ears, Darla. Uh-huh. It's pretty sweet, but check out what I got. New sniper rifle. Ah, yeah. I do like the long rifle, especially when it's covered with netting. What's its name? Better than yours. <laughs> we made it through the wall. Sweet. Nice work, partner. Hey guys. Hey. How's it going, Josh? Doing all right. You guys need a big blue titan in your life? Absolutely. All right. Hey, what's that thing on your back? Oh, this? Here, let me get it out for you. See, it's my rocket launcher. It was raised by wolves. Nice. Is that? That doesn't look friendly. It's a big boat. Sweet, it's a public event. Let's do it, guys. Hey, we got our fire team. We can follow them in. All right, go, go, go. I'm right behind you. I'll go left. Got you covered. All right, Josh, let's see some magic. 
<laughs> we got another drop ship. It's got a devil walker. Hey, well, careful. It's getting set up. Look out! Whoa! I got these guys. Okay. Another fire team coming in. Ah, they're 20s. This is gonna be good. He's down. Light him up. Shoot it in the legs. is coming. We barely survived the last. We must regain the offensive. Why is the city breathing down my neck? Why don't you put that down so we can talk? Out here in the wild, this is how we talk. Your mission is vital, Guardian. If you succeed, you will become legend. If you fail, this city will fall and the last light of civilization will go out.
planets of our solar system have been taken from us. And we must reclaim what is rightfully ours. Our enemies surround us, growing stronger every day. And now we face a choice. We can hide behind the walls of our city or fight back against our enemies. As guardians, we will stand together, seize our destiny, and become legend. moment where we decided that the right thing was for us to do something big and commit the entire company to it. It's a big deal. The stories tell of a golden age long ago when our civilization spanned the system. It was a bright and hopeful time, but it didn't last. Something hit us knocked us down and tried to stamp us out. No one knows exactly what. But we do know this. Very few of us survived. And those who did owe their lives to the traveler. The fantasy you have when you're creating an experience is that someone else is going to enjoy it. One reason that games are so intriguing is that it's reaching players in ways that we haven't before. We're really going to make a conscious effort to build an experience which is going to be meaningful for people. Like, how do you keep a player going for 50 or 100 hours over some number of months? And to not just want to play the game, but to want to play it with their friends. Legends say the Traveler sacrificed itself to save us. The mysterious sphere still hangs where it made its last stand. Low above the Earth, keeping silent watch. The years that followed the collapse of the Golden Age were hard. But slowly, we joined together to build a city beneath the Traveler. And now we've begun to venture back into the wild, only to find that we're not alone. Strange and deadly creatures have occupied our old world. And they're pressing hard against the city, probing for a weakness trying to stamp us out for good. The limitations are our imagination, our ability to conceive these ideas, and that's a pretty special place to be in. Your story begins at this moment of great adventure and peril. You are a guardian of the city a soldier able to wield some of the Traveler's incredible power. If you can find a way to save the city, to reclaim all that we have lost, you will become legend. If you fail, the last light of civilization will go out. We needed something that challenges and inspires all of us. Something that I think has enough ideas in it that'll last us for the next 10 years. We are blazing a ton of new trails. We're building something alive. It has a nature that we don't totally control. Things are going to happen that we don't plan, and that's amazing. The best thing about Bungie is, even though you have these crazy ideas, you know that they're going to get funneled into a game that's fun. We're creating something completely new, and it's a scary place. But if it's not scary, then it's not going to be good.
we all have a ton of passion and we all have just enough crazy to pull this off. We've gone from continuing to make Halo games to doing something which certainly draws on our past experiences and plays to our strengths, but it's new and exciting. It's gonna take on a life of its own. We didn't even know how big Halo was gonna get out. How can anything be bigger than Halo? We'll find out. The number one priority was to make a world that people wanted to be in. Something that you want to go back to and you want to explore and to have enough variety where you never get bored. We take you to a lot of places, you see a lot of things, there's a lot of strange creatures and strange monsters and beings and ships and worlds. You can go from Earth to Venus to Mars to the Moon to Saturn. What I believe is going to be most exciting for people who play Destiny is the social experience of colliding with other people in this big world. It's not something that happens in most action games. Your choice of the character class and the character race will condition the way that character is going to evolve over time. The character that you're building over time, your character, you in the game, is the character you use everywhere. You're going to see a guy wielding the cudgel of Xanthor, or the fate of all fools, or whatever crazy names the writers come up with for, for these weapons and armor, and you're going to understand where they came from and what they went through to get there. On Destiny, we've gone to a three-weapon system. So we have a primary weapon slot, and that's for the very versatile assault rifle-style weapons. And then we have a special slot that's useful for, like, in the moment, this gun is easily my best option. The totally new one is the heavy slot, and that is all about causing unrealistically large amounts of damage over a very small window of time. One of my top features in the game is the new elements of cooperative play. We want them to meet different people or invite their friends into that experience. We want them to have a, a great public event that kicks off in this crossroads space where some players are moving towards a strike or other players are on a story journey. There's something really magical about running into another player, especially when you don't expect it. So you hear shots ring out and you look to the left and there's your friend. There he is, like there was no matchmaking, he just popped right in. It's all your choice. If you want to play with other players, you can absolutely do it. If you don't, you just go off on your own adventure. This game has an activity for every mood. You walk into these areas where you've got these campaign missions, you've got strikes, you've got raids, you've got public events that naturally occur in the world, and then you also have competitive multiplayer. Supers are interesting. I mean, it is that sort of raw expression of power, right? So some of them are really easy. Hey, I blow stuff up. Or the Hulk smash three other guys. You know a bomb, you're like, yeah, I'm gonna flap in the air, I'm gonna throw a sweet fireball at those guys, and those guys over there are gonna blow up. It's like, it looks like a dragon, it probably breathes fire. Getting loot is really damn exciting. <laughs> It's a satisfying feeling. What is this going to enable me to do? What did I win? What ability? How is this going to look? If we can simultaneously capture an amazing action game, but still allow players to customize it for themselves, and they can pick the path that they want to take, if we can hit all those elements, we can bottle up that lightning a second time. Here we
we stand, the last city on Earth. We once looked to the stars and saw hope, but they saw us. For centuries, they have waited, growing stronger, buried deep within the core of our moon. that has been lost begins here. And if we can fulfill our destiny, we will become legend.